three, two, one, fight! Uh, our team name is Hardcore Robotics, and the Great Pumpkin is more for crowd appeal than anything else. It's not really designed to be all that competitive, although I, it would be everybody's mistake to discount it because it, it, it will drive fairly well. My name is Bradley Hanstead, uh, Team Think Tank. Uh, we're out of Pasadena, California. Well, this particular outfit <laughs> is a result of a bet I lost. Double Rainbow Party was originally, you know, a giant stainless steel uh, pressure cooker lid and full body spinner. Strategy, basically what you want to do is you want to get rid of the pumpkin immediately. Um, getting that off is the key to victory there because that just demoralizes them. Even if you lose the match to the wedge, if you get the pumpkin off, you're doing something right. This is a really interesting match coming up. On one side, we've got Ray's son's uh, old robot, and it's the classic wedge bulletproof drive train. On the other side, we probably have the most advanced technical robot fighting today. Wow, okay. I believe that entire robot's carbon fiber, except from the teeth. And I'm guessing since it's double rainbow that both things spin in opposite directions, but I could be wrong about that. Three, two, one, Here comes the wedge versus that. Now here's the disadvantage in that double rainbow is a brand new robot and he's obviously having trouble spinning up on time. But he's spinning, but it doesn't I mean, right seem now, to be really strong. I could go in there and stick my foot in there and stomp that robot. And he's, he's, show, he's showing a failure to translate. So he, need, he needs to get moving or else he's going to get counted out. Yeah. Which he appears to be doing. The great pumpkin has yeah. lost the dice on top of his head and yeah. is now pushing the double rainbow around. Uh -oh. The lack of dice could be a key thing here. Sometimes a little thing like that is all you need to twist it against it. You know? <laughs> the robot gods frown on certain things and you're never sure exactly Especially what that is. Especially losing your lucky dice. Yeah, I mean, that's, to me, that's huge. I mean, if I was, yeah. <laughs> wow, and Double Rainbow, okay, so double tapped, rainbow out tapped out early. Out. Yeah. And here again, we have a, a case of a brand new robot. They went crazy trying to get it ready and they just, they couldn't do it. They couldn't get it ready. The yeah. match wasn't really as dynamic as we were hoping no. for, but you know, yeah. the double rainbow probably Ab learned a little bit about what they need to tweak yeah. for some the next matches. An absolutely the... beautiful robot. And so, and Ray Billings with the Great Pumpkin, we know that he was hoping to be able to make it into the, a few yeah. past a few yeah. rounds with this basically scrap built yeah. wedge. And he had this lighthearted approach to it, but at the same yeah. time, he's saying, "You never know." Never know. You know and it's happen. a great, it's a classic design. All right, the Great Pumpkin, you were, you know, wondering how you were going to do in the heavyweight class with it. This first fight, what did you think? It did very well. I mean, obviously, he, he, his is a new machine, and he had some issues with it. And so I can't take credit for my stunning victory. You know, it will, we'll, see what, we'll see what happens in the next match. But it, it did drive fairly well, does work good, and we'll see how the rest of the tournament goes. You lost your lucky dice, though. Maybe we'll have to tie them on. Or we'll tie them on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> How did you feel going into this match with this, everyone's calling it the top of the line, most technologically advanced robot in the competition? Well, it's, it's a first time robot. We're tr still trying to get the bugs out of it. We're definitely gonna switch over to some better batteries. 